Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today I'm gonna tell you how to use a GeoGrid in Plexus. So before I start, if you're into civil engineering and you're new to this YouTube channel, just subscribe, hit the subscribe button, it will be a great help. Uh, so let's start. I've been asked a lot about how to use GeoGrid in case stone columns under foundations so uh, i saw that there's a big problem concerning geogrid a lot of people do not understand how to do a calculation of a geogrid in plexus and i saw that there's a lot of videos on youtube that are falsely made they will explain how to use a geogrid and they are wrong some people draw that as a uh, as a plate uh, it's all uh, it's all wrong so in this video I've solved this issue and I'm gonna tell you how to use a geogrid so I'm gonna draw any project here I'm gonna start by drawing a borehole I'm gonna add any material now add it, tutorial So just remember, I'm gonna put any value here. I'm gonna press an OK. I'm gonna press on minus 10. So I'm gonna go to project. Uh, adjust the contour of my project so after this video I'll be making also a video on uh, stone col in case stone columns uh, geo geogrid under a foundation geogrid wall so let's start by drawing a plate So I'm gonna say that it starts at 5, 5 minus 1, it's at 5, 10 minus 1, here it's 10, 10 minus 1, and here it's 5, then it's ten five minus one. Ten five minus one. So I'm gonna double check. It's okay. I'm gonna also draw a other plate. It will be at zero 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 and zero. I will draw it in the. Uh, in the middle of the plate So it's there's a problem, it's not at the middle. No problem, it's just for this tutorial. So this will be our, our geogrid and this will be the plate where we apply a load. So we're gonna go to material, we're gonna go to plate and we're gonna create a plate. We will put here uh, any value just for the use of this tutorial and then I'm gonna create a geogrid I'm gonna put here also any value press on ok now we're gonna go and press on this geogrid 
say create geogrid go here and create a plate so now I'm gonna assign to the plate the material this plate here I'm gonna assign the material which is geogrid then I'm gonna put a load on the plate create surface load so I'm gonna go to mesh create a mesh go to station construction so here is the problem we go to the initial phase you put the k0 procedure it's okay we're gonna go to phase one phase one we're gonna do a simple plastic analysis and this is phase two so in phase two in order to activate the geogrid we're gonna press on here update mesh and reset displacement to zero so note that if you don't press on this button here it will not work so what is the update mesh button when you use a geogrid you should check this button because it will take in the more uh, in the model it will take in consideration the second order effect which is usually not taken in plexus if you do not update the mesh so however we do not use it generally because it will give us a lot of errors in complex project but in order to use a geogrid you should check this so i'm gonna go to phase one i'm gonna activate the plate the surface load i'm gonna press on the surface load and assign a force of minus 10 and i'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to phase two plate geogrid and the force it's also minus 10 so now I'm gonna generate the calculation and we're gonna see how when I do this method the geogrid will work in plexus so this is generally the problem why usually the geogrid do not work I'm gonna pause the video in order to save some time so the calculation is almost finished it will take a little bit of time to update the mesh of course so when you go to check the displacement we're gonna go to phase one deformed mesh total displacement so now we can see that in phase one the total displacement was a value of 4.5 times 10 minus 3 if we go to phase 2 when we activated the geogrid it will go to 0 0.03 times minus 10 times 10 minus 3 so here we can see how the geogrid took effect in uh, in the in the calculation so we can see that geogrid activation did work and we can uh, see how the displacement changed so now to make sure that the geogrid did work you're gonna turn off the surface load turn off the soil and turn off the plate also there will be the geogrid we're gonna check if the deformation did work this is the initial phase so you're gonna on, go to total displacement we're gonna go to phase two you can see the displacement in the geogrid You can see the forces also in the geogrid. It's 
So this is all for this tutorial. I'll be making more tutorial concerning GeoGrid. You will understand it more with the other tutorials. This is just for the beginners. And thanks for watching.